everyone, welcome back to Volts Comics and More. I'm Alex, and today we are looking at a bunch of stuff that's been coming out. Um, there's been a well, new season of Archer just came out. Uh, I don't know if you guys follow that or not, but speaking of FX um, stuff, there's also been Legion that has just uh, come out. This is following in the um, X Men uh, universe, uh, which is pretty much. Uh, yeah, one of those things on it. Um, Legion is it's it's kind of it's it's long story, but basically it's like Professor X's son. Um, but right now they are actually working on a short mini series in the comics about it. So uh, I haven't picked any of them up yet. But I mean, if you guys uh, want me to do like a comic book based. Um, episode on it then you know let me know in the comments below uh if you guys aren't are interested in that or if you guys have ever seen uh the show legion it just came out today on dvd and blu-ray um so i'm very excited to watch that i know i'm really behind because season two is going to be starting up soon um but also today that has come out is a new star wars movie uh star wars the last jedi so that has arrived today, of course, as always. Shout out to Best Buy. Got the steel book. Um, Star Wars The Last Jedi. I know there's a lot of uh, kind of a lot of controversy about that because uh, Luke Skywalker, um, older, kind of turned more into like a hermit, more into warning spoilers if you guys haven't have not seen it yet. Um, but kind of turned more into a uh, Kind of just like a grumpy old man, um, kind of like complaining about everything and just wanting to basically get rid of it all. Um, a lot of people kind of thought he was like a gray Jedi, which is kind of like a rogue Jedi, but uh, he's, yeah, he's just kind of complaining about um, everything that has happened and uh He's off on his own little island, living with the porgs and stuff like that. Um, these little, not really penguins, but kind of, if you guys know what a puffin is, I don't know. But anyway, um, so yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of like one of the biggest things because even Mark Hamill, uh, has said that, you know, he's not my Luke Skywalker, um, or tweeted, you know, hashtag not my, uh, Luke Skywalker, um, and then later on, he came on to say that, like, oh, I was wrong, you know, Star Wars is a good movie, and stuff like that, and I, whether or not he was kind of pressured into saying that, or he actually changed his mind, I don't know, uh, but, um, I I think that I, I still think that it was pretty good. I mean, I can see why people would say you know it's not because Luke wasn't like that. But at the same time, I mean, he was kind of following in the footsteps of Yoda, even though Yoda never really quite got like that bad, or he he wasn't that bad at all. But he exiled himself after Episode Three because of the um, Order sixty six. So he, he kind of had no choice. To get, but to go into hiding um, on Dagobah, but that's kind of what, you know, Luke ended up doing in his old age, but by the end of the movie, you know, he ends up saving the day as always, and all that fun stuff. Actually, they even kind of captured that. I don't know why there's a second glare on that. Hold on. Alright guys, now hopefully that I've opened it, maybe we won't get, ah, it's still on there, I'm sorry. But, anyway, um, there you see, like, the final fight scene, I know it's kind of hard to see, but that's Luke, you got Kylo Ren, um, and Luke explains how it was his fault that, um, Kylo Ren went to the dark side, how he didn't trust him enough, and, um, everything, so... You know, Luke kind of jumping to conclusions like that wasn't exactly, wasn't exactly Luke Skywalker that you would have known, but 
I mean, I don't know. You know, Luke's seen so much, and so much time has passed since episode 6, like, and I, I don't mean that as in movie frame, I mean as in, like, real time, real place, like, you know, stuff has been happening, uh, you know, Mark Hamill's gotten older, so when Mark Hamill returns, you know, so obviously it's going to be in the future, because if they were going to do, um episodes seven eight nine earlier it probably would have had a completely different outcome but now that they've done it later when everybody's older and everything then you know it's kind of uh it they, they have to the storyline's going to be changed up from if they would have done seven eight nine and like right right after episode six came out but you know, I, I don't know. I don't know how uh, different it actually would have been. I guess we'll never know, but, you know, it's fun. Well, you can kind of read the the books, the comic books, stuff like that. Uh, Star Wars has, is not exactly canon to uh, the movies. Um, but you can kind of imagine something like what happened in the book. Hap in the books, because there's there's a bunch of them that um, happened after episode uh, six. So you can kind of imagine uh, stuff that happened in in those kind of would have been what it would have been like to pick up from episode six back way back then. But you know they obviously had to change the storyline a little bit. They're obviously trying to get all their new characters in, um, such as Ray and Finn. Um, and Poe down there, um, on the back here, see Kylo Ren, Captain Phasma, um, and then on the inside, got the DVD, the Blu-ray, and the Blu-ray, uh, bonus disc, and then... When you take them all out, creates uh, one of the final uh, battle scenes there. So, I don't know. I mean, to me, you know, no matter. No matter what they've done with the characters, you know, it's still a Star Wars movie. And I know a lot of people kind of had, like, a, a petition. There's that one point in time where people had, like, petitions to make The Last Jedi not canon. And to kind of, like, redo it. Like, make another episode um, 8. But... I don't know. Like I said, that, that's kind of, that's kind of how I feel on it. Um, on the whole controversy there that happened because of Luke Skywalker being um, older, well, Mark Hamill being older and everything, and um, I think that it would have definitely changed the storyline a little bit had they done it sooner. Um, but again, I guess we'll never know, unfortunately. And uh, the best thing that I can kind of give you to compare what it could have been or what it kind of um, would have been more based off of is to look into like the books and a lot of times in the books um, and uh, there's there's some uh, comics that Marvel has been doing too and everything like that but in like the graphic novel books uh, usually in like the first couple pages if you guys have never read one it um, has like a timeline when everything's happened so far not in the newer books it doesn't show like a lot of the older books um just because it would take up probably you know more than just like one they, they tried to cram it all in like one or two pages or the last last one i saw they did um but um like it's been a while since i've read them uh last books i read were the uh um knights of, or the uh, Old Republic 
kind of based off of the video games a little bit. Um, or not the original video games, but the newest online uh, game for the Old Republic. And those are the last ones that I've read. Um, so I read about like Revan and uh, Darth Magus, stuff like that. So, But anyway, very good books. Um, again, comment below if you want me to do a review on the uh, new comic that has come out. It's just going to be a short series. It's going to be like less than 10 issues, I think. Like five or six probably. Um, but let me know if you want me to do something on Legion. And, uh, you know, if I do end up uh, reading the comics and kind of uh, doing a video on it, I might just kind of compare it to the uh, TV show. But the TV show came out before the series. But it, there, the the series is not the first appearance of Legion. Um, I have to do a little bit more, a little bit more research on that. But um, I know it's not the first appearance of Legion. But anyway, let me know in the comments below if you guys want me to do that. And also, uh, if you guys, what what were, what were your thoughts on the Last Jedi? Um, no, what, do you agree with what I'm saying about how it could have been done differently had it been done sooner? Well, you know, obviously, but, or do you just want it to be completely out of the picture? Do you want The Last Jedi to just kind of be out of the picture, its own storyline, its own separate universe that never actually happened, more as, do you want The Last Jedi to be more as a what-if movie? Or do you just want to leave it as is and accept the direction that Star Wars is going? Um, let me know in the comments below what you guys, what your guys' thoughts are on all that. Um, the other day, I did happen to pick up uh, an entertainment magazine. I got the one with Vision and Shuri on it. Just because those cancer gauntlets are so awesome. Um, but I will be doing a video on that. Uh, more than likely going to be posting that tomorrow. I'm going to be working on that a little bit today. Um, and if I don't post it tomorrow, then I'll post it next day. But it should be up tomorrow. But anyway. Got this. Um, that's really kind of all I got. For you guys today. Um, yeah. Again. Let me know in the comments below. If you guys want me to do something on this. And what your guys thoughts are on this. So. Hope you guys enjoy this video. As always. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell. To get notified when I put out a new video. All that fun stuff. You guys already know. Again. Thank you guys so much. And. See you next time. Bye.